beyond the mid proximal thalamus, nail bed injuries, paranuclears, nail evulsions, and foreign bodies of the digit. Some common contraindications include compromised digital circulation, infections of the skin or tissues through which the needle will pass, and allergy to the local anesthetic. Complications include infection, hematoma, venous pancha, gangrene of the digit, and nerve injuries. Hand injuries will often be seen in trauma units. It is therefore important to stabilize the patient before dealing with their hand injury. You will follow the ATLS process to ensure that their airway, breathing, and circulation are adequate before moving on to the hand. With regards to circulation, if the hand is bleeding, you will want to compress it and elevate it to decrease the blood loss from the hand. Once the patient is stabilized, we can then start dealing with their hand injury. You want to organize all your equipment and prepare the patient. This will involve getting consent from the patient. They will need to know what you will be doing and why you will be doing it. For this procedure, we will be using a combination of 0.5% bupivacaine and 2% lignocaine. Bupivacaine has a longer duration of action while lignocaine has a shorter time of onset. It is important to use lignocaine without adrenaline as it is theorized to cause arterial constriction and ischemia of the finger. We will be using 5 mL of each solution in a 10 mL syringe with small needles. We also need some alcohol swabs and gloves. In order to perform a digital nerve block, you need to be confident with the anatomy of the digital nerves. Each finger is supplied dorsally and ventrally with medial and lateral nerves on both sides. This means that each digit is supplied by four digital nerves, all of which need to be anaesthetized to achieve a complete block. The common digital nerves arise from the ulna, median and radial nerves. These divide at about the mid palmar level to produce a medial nerve of one finger and a lateral nerve of the other. There are various ways to perform a complete digital block. Each of these have their own pros and cons. We will be covering the classical four-sided ring block, the web space block, and the modified ring block. The ring block is one of the most common methods used to achieve a digital block. This is where you inject in four sites distally to the MCP, aiming to anesthetize each digital nerve individually. It is very effective for treating conditions such as a nail bed injury. The web space block is potentially the most patient-friendly block as only two injections are required. In this block, you aim to anaesthetize the dorsal and the palmar digital nerves by injecting into the web space. You inject from the dorsal aspect down into the palmar aspect and cover both nerves at the same time. The modified ring block, which is the one we will be showing you how to perform, also uses four individual injections to anaesthetize the nerves but it has the benefit of a greater anaesthetic effect than the normal ring block, allowing you to perform procedures proximal to the PIP joint. To perform this block, you need to palpate for the flexor and extensor tendons proximal to the MCP and inject on either side of them. The first step of the process is to ensure that you adequately clean the area that will be injected to minimize the risk of infection. You will need to position the hand with the palmar surface facing downwards and palpate for the extensor tendon of the digit you want to anaesthetize and administer the local on either side, anaesthetizing the dorsal digital nerves. Insert your needle at a 45 degree angle and remember to first aspirate to ensure that you are not in a blood vessel. Administer about 2 mils as you pull the needle back slightly. 
You may also want to reposition the needle to make sure that that nerve is well anesthetized. Repeat this on the other side of the extensor tendon. Turn the hand over and palpate for the flexor tendon of the finger and insert the needle on either side of that in the palmar surface as well. This nerve block could technically be achieved by using two injection sites. After anesthetizing the dorsal nerves, angulate the needle towards the palmar surface and inject there to anesthetize the palmar surface as well. In this video, we performed a four-sided ring block for completeness sake. You want to aim to inject about two to three moles of the local anesthetic in each injection site to ensure adequate anesthesia is achieved. Once your block has been performed, the finger should be completely numb and the procedure can commence.